A reading from the 43rd Psalm. Vindicate me, O God, and defend my cause against ungodly people. From the deceitful and the unjust man deliver me. For you are the God in whom I take refuge. Why have you rejoiced, you rejected me? Why do I go about mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? Send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Then I will to God leading joy, and I will praise you with lyre. O God, my God, why are you cast down on my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. And I chose for a very because I feel particularly on this Sunday we would see penitential psalms is listen to these words and tell me if you hear. For you are the God in whom I take refuge. Why have you rejected me? Why do you go about mourning because of the oppression of my enemies? Those are harsh words about God from David. And if David was by my fault, by my own fault, most grievous fault. But this is the way that David writes Psalms. Anyway, perfect. me, O God, and defend my cause against ungodly people. Again, a roadmap for the Christian. There are ungodly people. Not all dogs go to heaven. Defend me, defend the people from the deceit of the unjust Delivered me, or else why would I have this burden on my chest to say, God, have you forsaken me? Have you left me? Why is it that I that since I don't hear the still small voice, that I know that God has rejected me? But then and again, this is the roadmap for Christianity. We come to our senses. We say, wait, God wasn't in the smoke. God wasn't in the fire. God is in the Eucharist. God is in baptism. Oh, my soul, why have I been looking in the wrong place? Is really what David should have said. Lord, defend my cause against ungodly people and from the deceitful, deceitful and unjust man deliver me. Why are, what for you are the God in whom I take refuge? Why have you rejected me? Why do you go about mourning? Because of oppression of the enemy. Send out your life, your light and your truth. Let, me, let them lead me. Let them bring me to the holy hill and to your dwelling. And once again, we really start to see the roadmap of Christianity come up in King David because he comes to his senses. He comes to his faithful senses. And he constantly does this. He goes after God. 
then he re realizes he went after God, and then he comes back with, oh, but you are God, oh my faithful God. Or, then I will to God my exceeding joy, and I will praise you with lyre, oh God, my God. Why are you cast down, oh my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. Do you see the juxtaposition there? In one psalm, he's angry with God. And then in the ha other half, he's praising God. In, Luth in Lutheran terms, we would call this the peccator. All at the same time or simultaneously, just and sinner. And I think that we need that term because if for no other reason, it's a roadmap to the Psalms. Those in which we pray should pray and do pray. For even when we are cast down about ourselves and even when we don't hear God in our, in our prayers, then we know what must be done. Thank Him. Praise Him. For our God is the God of vindication. Our God is the one who makes us say, why, am I, why is my soul cast down? Why am I in turmoil within me? I should be hoping in God. For I shall again praise Him, my salvation and my God. Even in our darkest hours. Even in our most horrible depressions. We have this truth. Christ is a vindicating Son of God. Look not to yourselves, but look to the God, the One who is your redemption. Amen. Now may the peace which surpasses all human understanding keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, now and forever.